Good day, Grade 12s. My name is Kadel Matsukere. I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks. Here's one of my books, Grade 12, 11, 10, Business, Grade 12, 11, Complete Version, No Answers Version, 250, 200 rands, free material, YouTube videos. You can watch everything, you can learn. There's no excuse. It's called the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks. Distinction Bound. What does that mean? It means you are bound to getting a distinction. Just follow, just listen, just do what I explain. Distinction bound. You are bound to getting a distinction. You cannot miss that one, right? Let's get those distinctions. That's what really moves me. Excellence. Let's do it. All right, so in this lesson, what we're going to show is normal profit. How does a uh, how can you graphically explain normal profit? Now, to get started, we start with a table that shows why the demand curve for a monopoly looks the way it does. Why is it equal to AR if they are equal? Why is it not equal to MR if they are not equal? That's what we're going to show just now. Right, so if you study this table, you can see that we have quantities from 0 to 9. We have price going down from 20 to as low as 4. We have total revenue going up and then it starts to go down. We have average revenue mirroring, like doing exactly what the price is doing. We have marginal revenue dropping faster than price and AR. So we want to see why is that? Well, like, like if that's the case, not really why because I'm not explaining that in this video. In this video, I want to show you that. Okay, then let's take this information and construct a graph. Okay, so 20 goes with what? The first unit, the second unit, the price drops. That's basically what happens. It's a normal demand curve. Like this is how a demand curve looks like mostly. Uh, and this demand curve represents the demand curve for the entire industry because a monopoly is the only firm in the entire industry right so you see it drops it drops it drops and it drops as far as four according to our figures now so let's join the dots it then gives us a demand curve so this demand curve like i said it looks exactly the same as the average revenue curve so we can conclude d is equal to ar so since they are equal then is there anything else that's equal let's see Yes, 20 for uh, marginal revenue as well. Okay, that's only where it ends. Because beyond that, marginal revenue is 16. It's, it drops by 4. Everything else drops by 2. So it's dropping faster than everything else. Now, if we connect those dots, uh, it gives us a downward sloping marginal revenue curve, which is not equal to the demand curve which is not equal to the average revenue curve. And in the exam, they can ask you, why is MR not equal to D? Why is MR not equal to A? They ask it like that if it's a monopoly or if it's monopolistic. And they are not equal for sure, but why are they not equal? Also for oligopoly, they are not equal. Why? Because each additional unit is sold at a lower price. That's the answer. Now, if they recycle that same question, they'll ask the question under perfect and the question would then be, why are they equal? And the answer is because each additional unit is sold at the same price. So with perfect, you say each additional unit is sold at the same price. With monopoly, you say each additional unit is sold at a lower price. Now, so since the, the curves look like this, let's add other curves like the... <clears throat> like the what the marginal cost curve let's add the average cost curve right uh what i see here is that i didn't arrange my um my slides properly but i'm going to ignore that clearly you can see whatever it is that we're going to show here is a normal profit yeah that np and then we have ar equal to ac well i didn't i don't know if i spoiled it but no probably i didn't d is equal to ar as we said mr is not equal to d and not equal to mr and then we have our marginal cost curve there and then they intersect at point e which is 
po uh, profit maximizing point then from there 10 units are sold why not 11 because the firm won't maximize its profits why not nine the firm won't maximize its profits why 10 the firm will maximize its profits and what's the price like i said earlier the price is not determined by the marginal revenue curve so our price is not there but the price is up there because our price is determined by demand curve the demand curve is that which determines the price so in this case it's 10 rent keep things simple now with that is this firm making a normal profit or not well we can say it does because we can see it there uh, i i put it there for you <laughs> by mistake but I'll ignore that. Uh, the answer, if you remove that, if you didn't know, you would say what? We don't know, right? We don't know because we don't know if AI is greater. We don't know if it's less. We don't know if they are equal. But, well, if we put it now, we know. Yes, we can clearly see that a AC and AR are equal at 10 units. They are both 10 rands. Right, so basically, uh, this graph shows... A normal profit for a monopoly and I moved a bit fast maybe because I know that I've done the same video but for economic profit and for normal profit uh, for economic loss and the first one I did was the one for economic loss I think and that one I was moving a bit slow and it's because probably subconsciously I knew that okay I'm explaining it for the first time so now it seems like yeah you watch this video after you've watched those ones which means yeah you can you can understand where i'm going and where i'm coming from all right so this basically brings us to the end but <coughs> sorry i have flu but before we get to that to the end uh we we just need to prove we want to prove that this firm is making what and uh, normal profit so we simply say ar minus ac and if we say ar minus ac we see that it's uh 10 minus 10 and so 10 minus 10 gives us a zero so zero is nothing but a normal profit well this brings us to the end of the lesson and as usual please like please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video so much. God bless.